We are in Rose Hill Cemetery, located in Chicago. We're coming up to the gravesite of one Bird Tilstrom, born October 13th of 1917 and dying on December 6th of 1985. Burr is located in Section 16, Lot 80, Sublot 5 of the cemetery. Born Franklin Burr Tilstrom in Chicago, he attended Chicago's Sin High School and the University of Chicago. During his freshman year at the University of Chicago, he was offered a job setting up a marionette theater with the Chicago Parks District Theater. In the 1930s, he turned his attention to puppetry and created Kukla the Puppet in 1936. Kukla the Puppet remained nameless until the Russian ballerina Tamara Tumanova referred to him as Kukla, which is a Russian term for doll. Other famous puppets from the group included Ollie or Oliver J. Dragon, Bula the Witch, and Fletcher the Rabbit. At the 1939 World's Fair in New York, Tilstrom was invited to present his Kukla Palatin players. The following year, RCA sent him to Bermuda on the first ship to shore broadcast. From 1947 until 1957, Tilstrom was involved with the Kukla, Fran, and Ali TV show, which starred his adorable puppets and a lovely Fran Allison. The show is widely regarded as being the first children's television show which appealed to children and adults of all ages and counted on a number of its celebrities who were also fans. After the original series ended in 1957, Tilstrom continued to work with the Kukla Palatins. In 1970, the puppets appeared on national t educational television, which was recorded and taped at WTTW-TV in Chicago for two seasons. In 1975, Kukla, Fran, and Ali began a Leonard run on television for Leonard 13 episodes. In 1977, the Artist-in-Residence program at Hope College created the Kukla, Fran, and Ali retrospective stage show. In 1978, Kukla, Burr, and Ali joined the Broadway cast of Side by Side by Soundheim, which was a review of Stephen Soundheim's songs. Tilstrom continued to perform with his Kuklapolitan players until his own death in March of 1986. Tilstrom was inducted into the Television Academy Hall of Fame for his creativity and innovation to the medium. The Burr-Tilstrom collection and archives are maintained at the Chicago History Museum.